As more stringent measures are proposed for the regulation of our schools, we go back memory lane as we take cognizance of Don Davis, the 11-year-old student of Deeper Life High School in Aquaibom State, who was sexually assaulted by seniors while the school tried covering up. Kiran Akpaga, a 14-year-old student of Premier Academy Lubi Abuja, died of sepsis earlier this year. A used condom was found inside of her. There are reports that she possibly may have been raped severally by a staff, security or teacher. She however died before she could build up courage to mention names. The school stonewalled the investigation. Sylvester Oromoni, a 12-year-old student of Doen College, Lagos, who died from internal injuries sustained by torture from students from failing to join the cult. The reports involving these three innocent souls are our children and has spiraled reactions as parents have been adjoined to join voices and call for criminal charges to be pressed against the schools and those identified as collaborators. Thorough investigation leaving no stone unturned no matter how highly placed the parents of the Erin wards are. The establishment of a body under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Education to monitor, supervise and evaluate activities of all private schools boarding and day in Nigeria. The expansion of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission and activities to oversee activities of private schools especially boarding facilities. Pay an impromptu visit to boarding schools to inspect quality of food served, the accommodation and general conditions of the student. Pay a visit to the hostels, especially at night to see the students sleeping on bare floor, kneeling all night in the cold as punishment, bunk shocking, dirty toilets, lack of drinking and bathing water. Interview students randomly to unravel or intercept torture and sexual abuse by fellow students or teachers. These and many more have been the call of many parents as it is reported that many more students suffering abuse in boarding and day schools but have had fear imbibed in them that they are too scared to speak because of threats suggesting that a cry for help is a death sentence.